towards the end of the war, everything was secret. You never knew whether you were winning or losing, and most of the time they were saying you were winning when you felt that you were losing. I was born into that world. I was born in the hour that Albert Speer was arrested. He was Hitler's premier architect. I don't mean war architect, he was an actual architect. My father got these two messages. One was, Speer's been captured, and the other was, it's a boy, Mr. Townsend. <laughs> when I think about my childhood in the late 40s, 50s, it's almost like the world was black and white. It's very weird. Very Spartan living. We were still on food rationing. No cars in the street. Maybe after the war, there was like bombed out buildings that had loads of bricks, but we didn't eat Lego. We had the real thing. And practically everybody that I know that I grew up with, if they were wild and crazy and weird, or in a band, the chances were that they had some weird shit happen to them when they were kids. <laughs> My parents were both working dance band musicians, and I grew up with the music of my father, which was the Basie Band, the Ellington Band, and great singers like Sarah Vaughan and Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald. And I felt I couldn't even begin to emulate or, or occupy their territory. We were all interested in traditional jazz at the time. To me, trad jazz was something that was already a rebellious threat to the kind of serene dance hall dance music that my father played.